Hello my fellow dwellers, Vaniwa here and my character is a spring spider web everywhere. She recently became Spider Gwen because she was fighting some raiders in Fallon's basement. We managed to stop them and turn them over to Diamond City security, but it looks like they got away and escaped with some merchandise. We need to use something a little bit more lethal to stop them this time and recover the stolen goodies. We have real drawing weapons by Monkey Smunk, and with these weapons, who needs grenades? The drawing weapons can be crafted at the commission station. There are 36 different throwable weapons that can be made. Now I laid on the floor every weapon that can be crafted. We have a variety of different knives and bladed weapons. The details that went into them is very good, especially around the handles and the grip. We have a small selection of tomahawks and hatchets. And then we have the finest shurikens and kunais, again top quality, top quality indeed. For larger weapons, we have harpoons and we also have thunder sticks. They can have a warhead that does a little bit more damage to an enemy. The last few weapons are kind of weird and can potentially catch an enemy off guard. I mean, who would expect a shoe, high heels, fork, or a pie coming right at you? In order to master these weapons, we do have some targets that we can make. In the build menu under the decoration section, we can craft some targets of various sizes, shapes, and style. We have to practice and train if we want to be good. I mean, we have to be familiar with our weapons. The first weapon I shall demonstrate is the Diamond City Tomahawk. It's an axe that tumbles through the air and there is some slow motion effect going on. We can become Mel Gibson in The Patriot. The next weapon is a harpoon with a fusion core added to it. Every weapon has a different trajectory and flight pattern. Now that's the reason why I aimed the harpoon slightly higher than where I'm aiming at. Eventually, we can draw our harpoon with deadly results. This weapon right here, if you want to call it a weapon, is a shoe. Whenever you throw a weapon, there will be some slow motion that makes it easier and cooler to use. But yeah, who uses a shoe as a weapon anyways, right guys? I mean, come on. My favorite weapon is definitely the cream pie. Oh yes, cream pie indeed. When the cream pie hits an enemy, it staggers them and covers the enemy with some pink cream. Ooh, that's some uh, weird looking cream, oh boy. <laughs> now, uh, yeah, we kind of need to uh, practice giving cream pies to our enemies. Okie dokie, it looks like we have located the raiders. It looks like they're trying to hide the stolen goodies. Well then, let's go bust out the thunder stick. Um, how about the fragmentation grenades? Oh, it looks like it hurts. Now they won't be robbing and stealing anymore. Well then, let's go get out his uh, Spider Gwen outfit and into something a little bit more casual. We have Grim Mega Milk by Grim Sovereign and this yummy looking outfit will make you want to play with your own upper assets if you know what I mean. The Mega Milk outfit can be crafted at the commission station. It consists of a short sleeve baseball t-shirt that's cropped at the bottom and a pair of worn out shorts. The default body that comes with the outfit definitely increases your assets in a very good way. Grim Sovereign definitely has some very good taste in the curviness department. I really like how he made the t-shirt and I can't really describe it because of YouTube but you guys know what I mean. I kind of like how the t-shirt is being stretched out. Yes, that's, that, that's kind of one way to put it. The textures are lovely. I'm not going to describe what we're looking at because of obvious reasons. I mean, what are we looking at here? I I, 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 I don't know, guys. Hoo -hoo. The outfit comes with 14 different variations for the t-shirt. Now, the first four is by Grimm. We have Mega Milk, Mega Milf, Juicy, and Goth Milk. And right here, we have 10, which is made by Shade Mizu. We have plenty of familiar words, and I'm sure we will all know what Echi, Hentai, Ahigao, and Opai is in Japanese.
Also, we have two different colors for the shorts as well. We have denim blue and we have black. The outfit is based on a hentai that involves some brother and sisterly love. Now, if you spend any time on the internet, you most likely have come across the Mega Milk Girl picture at some point. If you want to know what hentai it's from, you can come to my Discord and ask around and find out, or you can go look for it yourself. The link for my Discord can be found in the video description below. Oh yeah, make sure you bang that like and subscribe button as well, you know, bang it good, and also become my patron today, yay! You know, this is a very good place to plug this in, right guys? <laughs> now anyways, I really like the red t-shirt one that says Juicy. I really like how it's kind of worn out in some places, and it's very obvious. It's a lighter color of red, and there is like two little uh, circles where there are plenty of rubber if you know what I mean. Oh man, that, that, definitely it's my favorite. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I do feel kind of thirsty. I kind of want some milk right now, and I don't know why. You know, I'm not sure why. So let's go see if our new vending machines that we brought in have some milk in them. We have Vizen's vending machines by Not Free 25, and these vending machines offer everything you need in a colorful way. The vending machines can be crafted in the build menu. We have a vending machine for every category like weapons, general goods, foods, clothing, chems, and armor. Each vending machine requires one energy to power. They are meant to replace the shops that are in your settlement. We also have a version that doesn't have the decorations on it, but it still has the colorful paint jobs on the outside. I would definitely use the version that has the decorations on it. It looks like it would be a very cool thing to have in your playhome as a decoration even though you might not use it like a vending machine. Now out of these vending machines, which do you guys like the most? Let me know in the comment section below. Now too bad there isn't a vending machine that sells panties or something. Yeah I know guys, sad face, sad face indeed. Now which vending machine would have the milk? Hmm... Well the most obvious one would be the food one but I don't see any milk. Okay, uh, let's go try the general vending machine. Hmm. Da, 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 da. hmm. Nothing here as well. Dang it, now where can we find some milk? Oh, I know, I know. How about we milk some Brahmins? We have HD Rework Brahmins Pack by Hulk Hogan and this will improve everything that is Brahmin related. The most obvious thing is that it improves the textures of the Brahmin and we have plenty of before and after video. With the mod, the skin has a rough leathery texture to them, and the fur quality has been improved as well. It's no longer smooth, featureless, and blurry. The horns and ears also have some details added to them, especially the horns, you know, they no longer look like they're made out of clay. Now, the most important part is the Brahmin udders because, well, that's kind of what the video is kind of based on. It looks like it has some textures for you to grab onto and milk. The HD Brahmin pack also improves the Longhorn and Shorthorn Brahmins in a similar way. You can see right here the details of the luggage that the Brahmin pack has on its back. The Brahmin accessories like the hide, the bone, and the meat has a slight improvement as well in the sharpness of the textures. It basically improves the textures for everything that is Brahmin related. The mod page didn't really mention it, but the Brahmin couch is my favorite improvement. It uses the same textures as the Brahmin, so naturally it would be affected by the mod as well. And lastly, the bodies of Brahmin and Brahmin trophies have the same treatment as well. So how are we going to be milking the Brahmins? Now first of all, we have to get a little bit lower so we can reach the Brahmin udders. We can do this with more sit anywhere and wait by 5133P39 and we can sit anywhere on command. The Sit Anywhere mod has a mod menu. The most important thing is to set a hotkey that will cause your character to sit. And then the next section lets you set when you do like a wounded pose when you are wounded. And this section right here is the second most important. We can set which sitting animation we can turn on and off when we activate it. The last section is the same thing as above but in a captive faction. After that I can walk to the middle of the street and press the hotkey and there we go. We can sit and take a rest or enjoy the view. You can use this mod and sit anywhere you want, well of course within a reason, like you can't really sit on a person's face for example, at least not naturally.
Now this is probably the closest animation right here to milking a Brahmin. Anyways, that's it for this episode of Follow For A Mod Review. I do have a question for you guys. Would you rather drink Brahmin milk or my milk? And you guys know what I mean by my milk, right? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below. I also wonder if I can cream pie my own followers. Uh, hmm. Yeah, well, make sure you watch the next video in the next episode to find out. I'll even show a very up close of my juicy t-shirt if you guys know what I mean. And hopefully YouTube won't know what it is and it'll be all good, right guys? <laughs> yes, indeed. Well then, Stay skimpy my friends, stay skimpy!